Some objects, like the sun, can shine. We call such objects luminous. A light bulb, when it's switched on, is also luminous. Luminous objects give out light. The scientific way to say that is that luminous objects emit light. Emit means give out. That light then travels away from the luminous objects in all directions in the form of waves called radiation. To help us to understand this, let's open up the simulation. This shows a torch, actually a laser torch. A laser is a special kind of light. We press the button to switch the laser on. Now this torch is luminous. It is emitting light. This light is traveling away from the torch in the form of radiation. We just see a beam of light. We may call it a ray of light. But it actually consists of waves of light. To help us visualize what this might look like, if we could see it magnified, let's choose the wave option here in the simulation. Now the simulation shows us that the light ray actually actually consists of waves moving from the torch away. And we call these waves radiation. Can you see that this light ray is traveling in a straight line? And that's because radiated light always travels in a straight line unless there's something to bend it. But if there's nothing in its way, so for example, if it's traveling through outer space, if it's traveling through a vacuum, it travels perfectly straight. In other movies, we will look at things which can bend light. But if nothing is in light's way, it will just travel in straight lines. When light is traveling through a vacuum, a vacuum means emptiness, like in outer space. When light is traveling through a vacuum, it travels at a speed called C. And C, which is the speed of light, is 300,000 kilometers per second. When light travels through air, it also travels at approximately the same speed as when it travels through space. In other words, as when it travels through a vacuum. 300,000 kilometers per second. We call this the speed of light. And because the speed of light is such an important thing in science, we give it a special symbol C. Now, how fast is this number, 300,000 kilometers per second? To help us to understand this, let's look at a map. Here I have the route from Cape Town to London mapped out. So Cape Town is in the tip of Africa and London is in the United Kingdom in England. And the distance between them in a straight line is approximately 10,000 kilometers. Google Maps tells me that if I want to drive from Cape Town to London by car, the route will be 13,287 kilometers long and it will take me 180 hours. If I fly in an aeroplane, plane, it's going to take me 12 hours. So you can see that from Cape Town to London is quite far, but that is only 10,000 kilometers. For us to understand the speed of light, we need to know how far 300,000 kilometers is. So how much further is 300,000 kilometers than 10,000 kilometers? In other words, what must you multiply 10,000 by to get 300,000? And I hope you said you must multiply it by 30. So this means that if you want to travel 300,000 kilometers, you must go from Cape Town to London 30 times. Or put another way, you must go from Cape Town to London and back again 15 times. Then you will have traveled approximately 300,000 kilometers. Now you can see that that is going to take you very long, even if you go in an aeroplane. In an aeroplane, that's going to take you 12 times 30 hours. If you go by car, it's going to take you 180 times 30 hours. That's very many hours. But light, how long would it take to go from Cape Town to London and back again 15 times? In other words, to go 300,000 kilometers. The speed of light is 300,000 kilometers per second, which tells us that light would travel 300,000 kilometers in only one second. So if you could have a light source, a luminous object in Cape Town, and a mirror in London, and you were to shine the light from Cape Town to London, obviously this would be impossible because there are mountains in between and, uh, you know, it's not going to work. But just imagine 
if it would be possible for you to make light travel from Cape Town to London and then be bounced off by the mirror back to Cape Town and then have another mirror there and bounce it back and so on and make it go back and forth like that 15 times, which means 30 times 10,000, 300,000 kilometers. That light would travel back and forth those 30 times in only one second. So that tells us light travels very quickly. So to recap, luminous objects shine. They give out. They emit light. That light travels away from the luminous object in the form of radiation, which means in the form of waves. So the light is transferred. It moves from the luminous object in straight lines by radiation. How quickly does it move from the luminous object outward? At a speed called C, which is 300,000 kilometers per second. That is, if it's traveling through space, and if it travels through air, it travels only slightly slower, so we could round it off to say this is also the speed of light through air. 